What's up guys, my name is Julian, your solar expert, and today I'm gonna to be answering a really common question, which is, are these solar calculators that I see actually accurate? And yes, this is a shelf of Disney backpacks behind me. I'm at my girlfriend's house in Anaheim today, and uh, thought it'd be a decent background. Most people starting their journey into researching solar, they are usually confronted with one of these solar calculators, and you can type in your information, and it'll pretty much give you an idea of what it thinks you need in terms of your solar. Not only is this number usually pretty wrong, but they usually don't really give any information as well to explain why you need that or what the capabilities of what they're quoting out can really even do. And so ultimately, I kind of think that these calculators do a disservice to the industry because really at the end of the day, they're just usually lead generation marketing tools that you have to put your information in to get the result. And then you have a ton of solar companies calling you to basically try to sell you a system. But the solar calculators give a false confidence and basically, in my opinion, steer homeowners a lot of the times in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna be explaining to you simply why these solar calculators can't really be accurate and why you still need a real human being to explain and help you go solar in order to not make a ton of mistakes. There are realistically more reasons than the five that I wrote down on this whiteboard, but here are just a few of the factors that these calculators would have to have dialed in exactly correctly in order to give you a proposal or an estimate for what you need to cover your bill when going solar. So the first one is a lack of the net metering rate schedules. So if you don't know what net metering is, I have a whole video on it. You can go to my channel and check it out, but it's basically the relationship with the utility company after going solar because before going solar you just buy power from the grid but after going solar you ultimately will be selling power back to the grid as well and so every utility company which there are thousands of in the United States have extremely complex net metering deals so ultimately the calculator is going to have to have all of the thousands of net metering agreements built in and up to date. Also, these are constantly changing. The rates are constantly changing, the buyback rates, and it's an ever-changing battle to stay up to date. And the reason I know that these free solar calculators are, are not staying up to date is because there are several paid softwares that solar professionals use in order to build proposals and come up with the productions. And these all cost money and they still struggle to keep up. And so if it's a free service, I just, there's no way that it's gonna ultimately be able to have all the people necessary on staff to be constantly keeping up with all the rate schedules. It's just impossible. And without this, you, you can't really tell the customer anything of value because for example, in California, if you have a solar only system that has about 100% energy offset, but there's no battery, only about 40% of your actual bill is gonna go away. So right there, that's, that's a huge issue that needs to be explained. All right, future needs and degradation. So normally when you uh, go onto one of these solar calculators, it asks you to type in your kilowatt hour usage for the year. And here's the thing. It's not asking you about what you're gonna be using next year or the year after that. If you're gonna be making changes to your home, you need to have someone ultimately calculate out how many kilowatt hours that's gonna use. And most people actually misreport their own kilowatt hour usage, which it's, it's not your fault because the graphs are usually extremely difficult to read. Unless you have a, a chart or you know something that tells you exactly the number, most people get, get it wrong a little bit. And so all the time people will call me up and they'll say, yeah, Julian, like I'm using, let's say 10,000 kilowatt hours a year. And then I say, oh, great, send me your bill. And then I get it and I'm realizing that they're using 13,000 or something. And it's just because all the graphs are hard to read. So self-reporting your usage and then basically not factoring in the degradation of the equipment on top of that is just a recipe to not set yourself up with ultimately what you need. So the third one is, are you buying just solar? Are you buying solar with batteries without backup just for self-consumption? Are you buying solar with batteries with backup? And are you theoretically gonna buy you know solar with battery backup and a smart panel. You know, all of these different levels of going solar have different capabilities. And unless you truly understand all of the capabilities of what every type of system can do, then the solar calculator is ultimately useless. There are tons of people that go solar and they think that their solar system is gonna work when the 
the grid shuts off and it doesn't. You need a battery to do that. And now in California, most people are going to actually be adding batteries to their system, but without backup because they're not worried about the grid going out. And there's a pretty drastic cost difference between doing batteries with backup and without. And so ultimately you got to understand all of this stuff if you are going to be investing in solar. All right, number four, are the production values even accurate in these solar calculators? Um, so usually these calculators are connected with something. There's like a Google program that tells you like the sun hours for your roof and there's all these programs, right? And it goes back to what I said a minute ago about the you know, solar professionals using paid for software. And even the paid for softwares have pretty drastic differences in their productions. You can build the same exact system in, you know, for example, Solo versus Aurora versus Solar Graph, and they'll come up with slightly different production values. And so a free service ultimately at the end of the, end of the day is going to be even less reliable. And so you, you don't want to rely on on a free solar calculator for your production value and what your roof can ultimately gather in terms of sunlight. And number five, what equipment are they even quoting you? You know, there's hundreds of different panel options. There's different types of inverters, different brands. They have different capabilities. Now, especially in California, everyone has to have a battery and you know, all the different batteries have different capabilities. The, the softwares, you know, communicating, you know, the, the panels and the inverters, communicating with the battery, communicating with the, you know, the controller, the, like the brain of the computer, you know, all these different components have their own softwares and there's a lot of communication issues between the software. And so what are they even quoting? you you know are they quoting you the equivalent of like a ten thousand or fifteen thousand dollar new car or are they quoting you you know a mercedes-benz that's seventy five thousand dollars right so because the solar industry is pretty young most people who are going solar this is their first time buying and investing in solar. It's not like going down to the car dealership where everyone knows, you know, different grades of cars. They know what to ask. They, they basically consumers are, are smarter than the dealerships, right? But with solar, this is your first rodeo. And so ultimately you don't even really know what to ask half the time. And so you need someone that can explain, right? All of the capabilities and what they're, what you're being quoted, you know, the warranties, the longevity, uh, the, the degradation. There's so many factors that you need to understand so you basically don't make a very expensive mistake. You know, going solar is one of the best investments you can make, but it gets a bad rap a lot of the time because people either don't do it right because they have a company that is just trying to sell them really fast and they're not really consulting and building a system for their needs. Um, or at the end of the day, they try to do it themselves and it, it's not working right because they, they didn't know what they were doing. So anyways, I actually help people go solar in over 25 states all around the United States. Please reach out if you need help. I'm more than happy to help you. And I even have a whole team um, that I've built up as well. So give me a call 760-473-5878 and I can help you out or email me below. It's all in the description. All right, thanks so much.